If you want to schedule a Link Online meeting on behalf of another person in Outlook, then you'll need to be set up as their delegate. The first thing you need to do is get them to add you as a delegate. To do this, you'll need them to go to Options and then to Call Forwarding. Once they're in Call Forwarding, then they need to go to Edit My Delegate Members. Here, they will need to click on Add and then search for your name to add you as a delegate. Once they have found your name, they will need to double click on you to include you in the list of people that they have for their delegates. Once they have done this, they will need to click on OK twice to confirm. For them to exit the call forwarding menu, they can simply press OK. Once they have included you as a delegate in Link, they will need to do the same in Outlook. To do this, they will need to go to File and select Account Settings. Under Account Settings, they will need to select Delegate Access. At this point, they will then need to select Add and search for your name to include you in the list of people they have as their delegates. To confirm, click OK. At this point, they will then need to confirm under Calendar that they have Editor selected. Click OK to confirm. And OK to exit. The final step will be for the delegate to add the person's calendar. To do this, they will need to select File and then open. At this point they will then need to go to other users folder. Here they will need to type the person's name, select calendar and press OK. Wait for the person's name to pop up, select them and then simply press OK. At this point everything is done. The only other thing left is for the delegate to schedule a meeting. So all they need to do is select the person's name, bring up their calendar, select the correct date and schedule it in, making sure that they select Link Online Meeting. It's as easy as that. For more information about Link, check us out online at www.icom.com.au. Thank you.